Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ken Hoffman. I'm the owner of the gallery, and it's a pleasure to welcome you all here this afternoon. And uh, I would also like to introduce Christy Headley. Where is Christy? She's a, that's Christy, our, our gallery manager. Uh, and we have another staff member who's not here tonight. Uh, you know, we have two requirements uh, when we decide which artists are going to be showing in our gallery. Uh, we have the, the, myself and the two staff members have to be unanimous about selecting the artists. And so the other so we so we pick things that we all agree on. We would also have a requirement that the person has to be a decent person. <laughs> and, you know, I think you're, out there. Lois, you're a great artist. But I, I'm, you know, I can't say you qualify as a decent person. <laughs> you qualify as a wonderful person. I'll second that. You agree with me? I'd also like to introduce uh, Lee, who's yeah. going to be. Uh, well, you, you will. Tell us about I'm just your doing qualifications. I'm just doing she has a special role that no of the, none of the artists have, have had so far, and uh, you will hear about that in, in, a, in a few minutes. So uh, I'm just grateful to have you both here, and uh, I'm going to let you take over from here. I'm going to shut up. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. It just feels really special to me. Almost like a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a little shout out to Peter, who did glorious writing of my bio over there. So, thank you. I just want you to nail what you do, and you did. So, Lee and I worked together a very long time ago doing our photos. A very special project, so we're going to take our time to go through some of the photos individually. Our relationship is an extremely unique one, which I think will be revealed tonight. Uh, there's a lot of love going back and forth here. I'm going to sit down now. Oh, and Christy asked me to tell you all to turn up your cell phones. Oh, yeah. Okay. No leaving. <laughs>
So that studio was on Powell Street, Sutter Street, at Sutter and Powell. And I, you know, I just read the Dorothy Lang biography, and I was right across the street from her. <laughs> so, I, I didn't know that. So there I was on Sutter and Powell, starting my studio, and I shared space with a talent agent, a modeling agency. So she would refer a lot of people to me, and then so would a lot of the other talent agents in San Francisco. So my business took off, and I was doing really well. And then the modeling agency couldn't afford her rent, so we had to vacate. So then I moved my studio to another shared space on Mission Street, run by Lee Sankiewicz. Yeah. He was yeah. um, big in film. So I shared space there. And while I was there, so I started doing all these photography workshops because part of my when I came to California was, you know, I was very taken by the lore of Ansel Adams and Edward Weston. And, and I started taking the workshops. I actually got into the last workshop that Ansel Adams did in Yosemite. Wow. So that was very exciting. Oh. From there, I took a workshop with Cole Weston, yeah. who was Edward Weston's son, and that was very exciting. And he would invite us over to his house in Carmel, and you know, we'd all hang out together. So that was kind of fun. Then, after I took the Ansel Adams workshop, that was when I decided, you know, this is definite, and, and, and literally overnight created a darkroom for myself out here. And uh, just have had a very successful business since. So that studio eventually, Sankwich eventually, that didn't work out for him. So we all had to move, and I ended up at 25 Van Ass, where I've been for, I don't know, the last 30 years. <laughs> so photographing people, um, it's been very successful, very good. It's a great space. I share it with the New Conservatory Theater Center. So they are fabulous and great people to share space with. In the course, Exactly, but much of the Mission Street. Yeah. Oh, so Mission Street. So the next question that would come up is, how do we meet? So I have some show and tell. Uh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> 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 so, um, and also at any time, if anybody would like to ask questions or interject or have a comment, feel free. It's it's about all of us. So me is a performer. And an amazing performer. This woman, anything she touches is glorious, <laughs> artful, the most magnificent. I mean, you just draw, jaw drop it. So, through one of the agents, I get a job to photograph a software product. And they were going to do it with a mine. So, in walks Lee Harper dressed as a mine. So, I'm like, great. So, we do the job. The client is in the room with us. That's unheard of to have the client breathing over your neck. Oh. We hate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I felt so bad for you. <laughs> so, Lee is in white face with the real product. Oh. 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 That software, uh, the software is supposed to speak. So, I had to work this gig at the convention in, in Georgia. That was a Georgia peach. And that guy Peach wasn't up. allowed to talk because the software talked for him. So I have a puppet that can't talk. <laughs> and I can't talk to you. It's a really strange thing. But beautifully photographed. <laughs> the client in the room, you know, we, and we just met. And, you know, you just like, you know, you just like look at these people. <laughs> Leave us alone. So I start communicating with her with my hands. Like when I'm, and I'm you know, doing my thing, when I'm leaving and using my hands. And unknown to me, but Lee speaks sign language. I do theater for people who are deaf. We have a, I have a big community of friends who are deaf. I live with a deaf friend. That was, I was like, so when I saw her, I thought she was talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> and the client's looking at the proofs going, this is flawless. You know, because Everything she was saying with her hands was telling me, okay, I'm going to shoot in this moment. So I never blinked. Everything just looked all elegant. I believe you knew what we were doing. <laughs> we had never even met. <laughs> and it was a rush job. So I then went into my dark room, processed everything. It was in the nighttime. It, it was like 11 yeah. at night. Well, I you think the job's like at 5. Yeah. Right. So until you come out of processing, it's like yeah. 7 o'clock. And as I'm presenting the proof sheets to the client, 
in walks Lee, and I'm like, what are you doing here? And she's in full white face still. <laughs> I just, I wanted to make sure it came out, because if you had to do a reshoot, I want to be ready. I was like, oh, wow, that is so professional. Here we've been balling, because it would take me like two hours to get back like that. <laughs> so then, well, here's just another one in white face, so you'll just see. And, and this is sort of her amazing character. Oh, yeah, that's cute. So the makeup was astounding. It was just beautiful. So I say to her, well, I'll do your headshot, right? Why don't you come in, and I'll do your head, because we got along so well. She's like, great. So she shows up for her headshot. Now, she's had quite a life in mind, right? She's been painting her face, and, and people have known her to like beautiful faces. So she shows up for her headshot. Dressed <laughs> 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 as a clown. <laughs> so now she's Kit Crumpet. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a real guy. That's, a, that's Kit Crumpet. That's not really you <laughs> And we run all over South of Market, like taking these back before all those skyscrapers. <laughs> <laughs> like walls and corrugated tin and dirt roads. And this one, we started to find something was happening between us. We'd be shooting, and I, I would start climbing on things just to throw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she would be, oh yeah! And then I would make them more happy. <laughs> so she just fed me. It was good. So, but I had never had myself photographed as a human, except when I was a kid, and my dad was a photographer. So um, it never occurred to me to show up as a human. I thought, when she said, I want to do your headshot, that she would want Kip Crumpet or Dr. Hart or one of the weird characters I was. I wasn't, mm -hmm. um, I wasn't a human at that point. I'd been performing so much, so this is what happened. So then the third time she shows up, <laughs> Oh, and she's the most beautiful thing ever. She never met me as a human. <laughs> I show up as a human and I say, I can't believe you want to do this. So, um, just to show you, we're going through our new series, some of the characters that Lee has put together. Oh, well, some of these were actually born out of her seeing past my more goofy characters, some of these characters were kind of manifested from the confidence that I felt in our friendship. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, wash my face. That's <laughs> 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 great. Uh -huh. it was very free. Here's her mermaid. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah. and this is actually there's a little funny story with this, and Rob, you'll appreciate this. This is Rob, my brother from New York. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one day my parents are visiting conservative New York people, right, really important business, and we decide we're going out for sushi. So we all go out for sushi, and Lee shows up at the sushi. <laughs> 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 and carried by a great big burly man, <laughs> and he brings me into the sushi bar. <laughs> Come out with your parents. <laughs> so you never know what to expect. <laughs> All right, so that's how we met. Yeah. So then we decide, I don't know how, but from the photographing clowns south of the market, we decide we're going to go shoot nudes in the United States of America. <laughs> it was a far cry from being a clown. <laughs> <laughs> so we decide we're going to go on a photo expedition, maybe take two weeks, and just go photograph. So I get in the car, I go pick her up, I'm like, Lee, where do you want to go today? I think I'm thinking, like, oh, no. Santa Cruz or something. And she goes, how about Phoenix? <laughs> and I go, okay. <laughs> she asked. <laughs> so Lee's family was in Phoenix. So we went, we just drove across and started photographing. And I think our first one is what we call Maddie's Backyard because we went to visit her mom, Maddie. That was her interior. <laughs> And we get to Maddie's house, and in her backyard, she has this beautiful wine. So we were like, let's start. So that was our first one. Well, my parents have never seen me naked. Maybe my mom has, but not you were born again. with a diaper so, on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, where they weren't in the backyard. 
Uh -huh. I guess they left or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we said, what's doing that? Yeah, the sun yeah. setting. Yeah. 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 But then, um, that was our first one. That was our first one. Yeah. Although I think we did like a practice run right now. Yeah. It wasn't so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we started just traveling all around Arizona, which, um, do you want to go up and tell stories? Sure. That's it. Where, where? Uh, oh, this was the next one. I love that one. Yeah. yeah. That, that's my, my, my family was, we were out having Christmas party and we took this in with everybody out. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So Lori's family is very much into nature, as Lee is. And I remember, so we were camping at one point, and the coyotes started howling. Mm -hmm. And I was bored. <laughs> I run into the tent. <laughs> Lee and her dad run to the coyotes. So I think this is in the sunset. So all of these also are done with um, a hospital art. And I developed everything and printed everything. For the photographers out there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a hustle block, that's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, it's this big camera. It's like yeah. old fashioned, yeah. like something out of Lincoln's line. <laughs> <laughs> there she was, all set up. One of the things I thought, this is so real. It was so much fun to see her set up the hustle block. It was very relevant. I felt really excited about this setup. And then I would sit and calculate, you know, the stuff eater, do all my zone system things, do Ansel Adams, and mark every single roll and have comments and notes on every single thing that I was shooting. And this one, you know, I'm far away from me at this point, right? I got the, the big lens. And there just became a moment that the two of us could feel it. Like we just knew where the pose was, where the light was hitting, where, um, I just got a little side charge over here. Um, and at that moment of, this is it, and I'm thinking, wow, I got it. And she shouts out to me. And she calls me Pope. Just a little side note is my maiden name is Hoberman. So I was always known as Poe. So she calls me Poe. So she shouts out. She's like, because I'm like, I got it. And in my brain, I'm like, I got it. And she's like, Poe, did you get that? Right at the moment. I'm like, oh, I got it. And, and we're far away. And I'm just like, this is, this is crazy. <laughs> and then um, there are lots of things I don't know about what goes on for me to get ready for all these photos. So tell them about your well, cactus. This, this is what I learned that uh, not to tell her how it felt. You know, she'd be, are you okay? Are you okay? Just focus on it because the longer she worried about if I was okay, more painful it was because I have to be in the situation longer. And I just wanted her to focus on all her numbers and all this stuff she had to figure out. So I just said that we took that off the table. She was asking me if I was okay was not allowed anymore. We just, you know, we just put that in the background because uh, it would distract her if she knew what I was really dealing with. So these guys are, uh, the way they grow, they have little triggers. And if a wind comes by or any kind of naked woman, <laughs> they trigger and they fly and they go in and they're hooked. And then they like, you know, they they make big bruises. I mean, it's an amazing thing. So I'm tiptoeing through the choya. It was quite but that's what I think we made that decision. Or maybe I did it in my own head. That I can't tell her what I'm dealing with. Because if I knew that, I'd be like, no, we'll just yeah. go somewhere else. Right, mm -hmm. right. And that would have missed many opportunities. Yeah, that was a fun moment. I never realized, oh yeah, this is good. I'm still learning how uncomfortable she is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to, um, speaking of uncomfortable, this one. Yeah. Tell me about this one. Oh, well, when we came up, a lot of times what happened is home go, oh, I like this. Right here, something about it. And then I stand there and look and feel what she's feeling. She's grabbing something. So we need to, the, there's something that's lighting you up. 
And so I decide to create a relationship with it, whatever she's falling in love with. And I saw this beautiful line. I thought, man, I gotta do that. So I got up there, and this stuff was like lava, glass. Oh, God. Uh, I, I don't know that. <laughs> and I remember that there was this curve. So by the time I climbed up there and I got myself there, I needed her to tell me if I was duplicating that form. So normally, I would just give her a shot, but there was something very specific I wanted to, to get. And so I kept asking her, and she, yeah, yeah, drop it a little more. But um, yeah, this is one where I was counting. One potato, two potato, come on, take it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, in that particular shot, I was really thinking about nature and tree, and your body looks so tree like. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah, and that, the that, yeah, and that would happen. The, I kind of had to get in that feeling when, when we would find some place. I'd have to find a reason to communicate it and to fall in love with it. It just blends so well with yeah. nature. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah. Yeah. That's what was happening. Yeah. Yeah. Our whole purpose of our photos was to demonstrate the body being in harmony with nature. Uh -huh. And so whatever form I was seeing, we would miraculously get her body into just into blend. So when I saw that crack in the mountain or the wall there, she could get her body into that, like become part of that crack. Mm -hmm. And you capture it. And sometimes uh, there was a, a, a pressure around us. There was humans and things we were trying to avoid. So it was quick, take your clothes off like <laughs> 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 This is 
Question I went. I oh, how far away were we? Mm -hmm. yeah. Lois, are you using a long lens for that? Mm -hmm. I probably did. Yeah. I I mean, I'm sure I have a chart at some point, but I do have a long lens. So I'm guessing most of them were used to that. It seemed like you'd be figuring things out as I was making my way to the area, and that <coughs> worked out well. Well, this particular series, we have a yeah. lot that actually works that are yeah. really good photos of her. I mean, this one is in contrast to the tubas, but there are sort of many where she actually becomes the tuba, like just a little body part sticking out. You almost have to look at it twice to go, is that, is that a body or is that a tuba? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something, by the time we were doing this, something was happening where the, the earth and me and we all just one thing. It's getting hard to happen. Should we talk about um, we want to do a sunset reading. I mean, we're doing this. Oh, we're doing lots of fun. So, this was in Death Valley. So, this is Kathleen right here. Oh, she's yeah. She's in New York. Yeah. <laughs> um, we go to Death Valley, which is very hot. Who <laughs> 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 knew? Lee is like at home. I'm, I'm hiding in the shade of the car because it's so lovely. <laughs> uh, so we find this dune, and this was just after sunrise. Yeah. It was dark when we got there. Yeah. And unbeknownst to her, when she thinks of the desert as hot, I was freezing. <laughs> this earth was freezing. <laughs> it was so cold. <laughs> but this little spot, can you fold it up? Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I don't touch your heart. Are they jammed in here? It's just Velcro. Oh, the wire. The wire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, if it's too much. It's no, too no, much. no, no, no. No, it's not. No, this is good. Here you go. Here, clean. Go ahead. Here you go. Mm hmm. I'll bring it Oh, yeah. Lois, while you're doing that, what kind of paper do you use? This is all an oriental seagull. Oriental what? Seagull. Oriental seagull paper, which I don't even know if they make it. I don't think it is. Yeah. I mean, eBay. Little <laughs> 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 so we were out there, there was sun had just happened. And I thought, that looks like a bottle. <laughs> If you see, this was before we were doing Photoshop and all that stuff. 
So I wanted to get there without there being any footprints. And I remembered in, uh, I used to be a track when I was a kid, and there was this one thing where you would jump in the sand, blah, 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 and then you die! You, know, you could get yourself really far at that last jump. So I was practicing, and I got myself in the groove where I went, and I got this, I timed it out. So I went, blah, 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 blah. And this is hard. <laughs> just, just that part is hard. So I was able to lay down and, and there was no print. And, and I was so into it and tickled that there was no print. So that's me getting there. Point, 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 point. <laughs> <laughs> I usually tell people the helicopter. <laughs> so this well, is yeah, cold. I'm like, come on, we'll get the show. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is like a woman's body here. Yeah. yeah. I think when we did this, I, I, I remember thinking, this is really a good time. Yeah. Yeah. So many of these happened in that two week time period, which is really sad. What year was that? Well, they were in the. Um, okay. They were in the um, mid 80s. Oh. And then the project went on for about 20 years. Wow. Yeah. Talk about the one that's next to the two left. To the left. This one? Yes, please. Yes. This is just sort of a passing moment. We were in Yosemite. The trees are gorgeous. Where was it, did you say? Yosemite. Mm -hmm. And then you're just walking by. Mm -hmm. And there were these beautiful shadows from all the trees. And it was just that moment of there it is, because another inch, you know, we got like tree branches all over her. But at this particular moment right there, the light was just hitting her beautifully. Mm -hmm. So that was that. She was just walking by the tree. So we used to see the first sheets, and she's able to see a moment. It's really beautiful. And this one, we were walking in the woods. We were up at Bernie Falls. And of course, we're like, where are we going to go today? I don't know. And then we turned the corner. And there was some controlled burn in those days that was under control. And you know, the place was, the place was smoking. We were like, OK, take your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> what she didn't know is there was hot coal. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> Because this one, you can see how big and loud we are. 
Yeah. So one day we get, we're camping, we get to our campsite, and there's a ton of people around. And, you know, I mean, I'm quiet, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> but this was the first time that we learned that I could control it. So we get to this campsite, there are these beautiful leaves everywhere. But I had to be invisible. I mean, we were in a campsite with people camping, right? And, and it was, no. I remember he said to me, you got to turn down your stuff, and you got to turn down your life, and you got to turn it down. And so I was, in her room. I was trying to make myself invisible. And there were kids everywhere. Right? <laughs> 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 she was in love with the lead. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. So Lee takes her energy, both of us, we take our energy, and we just need to be very, very quiet. Nobody looks at us. Nobody. And I'm telling you, you know, the next camper is like where you are. Yeah. They're like really close. You're in middle school. So here she is. And down in the years. And this was one of those, this is it. Like, we got the shot. Get dressed. Yeah. It wasn't like, you know, a ton of cushions. Yeah. There was one shot, yeah. and that was it. Oh, and I was like, let's go. Oh, we knew we had to quiet. Oh, we were cackling out the window. We did it! <laughs> the joy of the ring, well, a lot of times, isn't that to imagine? I'm laying in worms, there's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> so we need a lot of celebratory stuff afterwards. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was great! Because we, you know, we'd well would be a little bit up. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. Then one time we went to Hawaii. We were very serious. So I only I only wrote in a small little list, but this was um, one of our favorites. Mm -hmm. This is there's actually a building here, a lot of, like a, a lean to where people would have picnics. So I climbed up on top of the building and they had a metal ledge. I don't even know it's to her. It was you know the metal roof and I could like a yeah, and I climbed up there, and I got sliced on my body. I didn't want to know. So I used the fabric so the blood wouldn't show. <laughs> but it came out like I love that shot. <laughs> it came out of the It came out of the I mean, it looked like I wanted that. <laughs> and I remember I showing it to Stephanos at the time. And he was like, oh, I showed him the photo. He's like, Because I was just trying to be 
tree there, and then that, that wood was falling, and, and just kind of caught it, and then it became the warrior. <laughs> and, and this, for the photographers out there, this was with a new camera, a 4x5, oh. mm -hmm. um, which didn't really lend itself to taking nudes out in nature. Uh -huh. So after this one, it was just, you know, it's just too slow, too time consuming, and you get one shot and that's it. So that's when I moved into the hustle part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we, we had to turn things, a lot of these shots had to be done quickly without people go out. <laughs> <laughs> and when we were in Jerome, that one in Jerome, was that when we dashed? No, that was the other place. Oh, that's actually a good story. Yeah. We were, we were just somewhere. Oh. We were isolated we were in, in the Crown, backwoods. We were in Arizona. Crown Cave. It was a ghost town. Ghost town. And there's all these <laughs> disenfranchised people that lived in that mm -hmm. ghost town. And my dad worked for the state land department. And when we came into the ghost town, we were kind of a big deal. What were these girls doing? And so my father took them all to the bar, the one bar in town, and got them occupied. <laughs> so he bought the whole town drinks while we went out and shot. We so kept them distracted. And it was just absolutely amazing. And my father took me back to that bar later because there, he had some bet with somebody that I could, at the time I was doing all this bodybuilding stuff, so he, he had some bet with somebody I could do some big thing, and he won. Uh, <laughs> so he got paid for it. <laughs> so he made it to us. Here we are, out of the world photographing, and her dad decides to, you know, yeah. be the protector of us. And that's not his character. Yes, it was just, really out of character. Yeah. It was remarkable. Like, and I don't really think I knew where I was. Yeah. Or if it was it. Yeah. Yeah, and he kind of knew these, because he had, he had had to come there before, he kind of knew these different characters, and he, he wanted to separate us from them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then lastly, this was just a popular series. This was our Blood People series. Oh. 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 So again, you know, we came across some water and some mud. <laughs> <laughs> Um, cover their bodies, and this we have a, a number of photos from there. We just, we just the love people seriously. Yeah, we, we were camping. It's not like we had access to showers. Yeah. Uh -huh. So <laughs> this part, the most hilarious part was, you know, what have we done? Because we are early morning, so there aren't that many people around. But by the time we're done, and it's you know nine o'clock or something in the morning, the campers are up and they're around. <laughs> so of course I could go with Lori Lee to the restroom and help her wash up. Yeah. Stuff was on his eye. I want to say you're a wonderful photographer, and the relationship that the two of you have is outstanding. Oh, <laughs> so please, I love you. It was great. I'm not getting naked much these days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating cookies. You've done your due diligence. You've done your due diligence. Yeah, but it's, a, it's impressive, you know, speaking of the relationship, you know. Um, you you walked on nails. <laughs> you, worms. you you rolled with worms. <laughs> you were going out out couch across. Yeah, the, you know. <laughs> I mean, um, so I'm 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 curious to know what it was about your dedication to Lois that would would motivate you to do all of that. Crazy stuff. I mean, I know yeah. the Lois, and she's a wonderful person. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, do those things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just it's very, it's very um, impressive. Your right? name's Jeff. Yeah. Um, that's really sensitive of you because I, I have to fall head over heels in love with someone to do that. Yeah. And I adore. Her. Yeah, so when people say to me like. Or what's yeah. your next thing? Or what about yeah. that project? I'm like, yeah. no, we, this is yeah. this is the project. Mm -hmm. I just wanted life to be so beautiful for her. She was so excited. Oh. And just, I watched. I just wanted all this. And you know, she had freed me up. 
I came to her as a clown. Yeah. The next thing you know, I'm a woman with a face. Yeah. And, and she saw a part of me that I didn't even know existed. Yeah. I've been performing as a clown in hospitals and all that stuff. And, uh, um, you know, for years and years. So this was a, a, a whole different avenue. And as she was opening me up, I was just wanting to open the sky for her. I forgot about the rattlesnakes yeah. and, the, and, and the hop, skip, and the jump. You know. So much of this she didn't know. She called me a couple of weeks ago when we started talking. Blah, blah, blah. And so a lot of the stuff, she, I had protected her all this time so that she wouldn't. I didn't know you cut yourself. Yeah, yeah. So is this, are you hearing this for the first time? Some of, these, some of, the, some of the dangers I have. Yeah, I didn't know she cut herself on top of the roof. Yeah, when I'm going up and over, I'm naked. <laughs> it's metal. <laughs> there was one day where, you know, when you shoot on a muscle if you're looking down, and yeah. you, know, you take the picture, and like a moment. Oh! And I think we were in Hawaii. Yeah. And of course, we're on these rocks, and she's balancing, and the waves behind her are crashing against the rocks, and it's beautiful. With my back to the ocean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're like waiting for the waves to come, and she's climbing on the rocks, and, and you know, when you put your body in a position, and, and you're Leaning and all your weight is on the one arm, and I'm looking, I'm far away. I'm like, can you just let go of that arm? <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's the arm that's holding her up. And she doesn't know what I, you know, I don't know what, whatever. So she starts to bow, and I go to take the picture, and all of a sudden I'm winding the thing, and there's no weight. <laughs> <laughs> that was our one, that was the same thing. Yeah. Like, Where are you? Yeah. To the wave that knocked her. I thought it was a goner on that one. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I thought it was a goner. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was a doozy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you were starting out today as a photographer and using equipment today, would Whoa. you be able to capture the same feel of these prints? Wow. But yeah, you know, that's, this, is, this is sort of an interesting thing going on now because. I went digital, so these are all glossy work. Thank you. Thank you. And going digital eliminating that whole aspect of my career and art um, and love of the dark room. You know, that was a big part of it. That was a big deal. So could I shoot it again? Absolutely. Would I treat it the same way? Mm. No. Because mm. you know, everything's moved, moved on. So. What about, but what about results? Yeah. Can, you, yeah. can, you, can you get this kind of result with, with, with in the digital, digital medium? Yes. Yeah. Can you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Actually, there's one digital printer. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, <yeah. laughs> My music will go back to vinyl, so to speak. Yeah. I mean, just as, as uh, musicians are going back to That's a good point. vinyl, maybe we'll go back to real dark rooms. And... is the chemicals. Because yeah. um, as, you know, as time went on, and the people who worked in my dark room during my, you know, my business would all start to complain about you know, putting their hands in the chemistry, and you know, now we need special filters. Because I didn't care about that. Uh, so, so it's right carcinogenic. Right What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> I was right in. I was really intuitive in that dark room. So, you know, you have the little tongs to take things out. You just put your hand in that stuff and move it along. So I, I think that's the big challenge today is what I put that back in my system now knowing what we got. <laughs> yeah. Because she was in a lot of awkward positions. Does that mean that you would be in very difficult, challenging positions in order for you to take the photograph of her? My positions weren't, you know, I'm not climbing the rocks, and I've got the gear. So I might have been perched in some weird places, but nowhere near what she was going through. You know, she's on the rock in the water, I'm on the land, far from the ocean waves. So I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't recall ever. I, I just remember being the beast, getting you to your spot, yeah. getting your gear, just getting you all set up, yeah. and then running away and turning yeah. into something. Yeah. We might, you know, I did some treacherous stuff to get to where we were yeah. going because we were in remote places. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I'd have to balance a tripod and do all that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty much on level ground. Because you caught the lighting, the definition 
of each photograph of her. So I know being a photographer, you have to be having the right lighting, the right angle, and yes. you just did an amazing job capturing her in the right lighting with that right um, definition. The balance. Both of you guys did a great job. It's actually following a great question. You know, how many shots of the shot would you take to, to make sure you had a correct exposure? Well, again, it, it would vary. To make sure I had a correct exposure, you shot Polaroid. So uh -huh. I would have a Polaroid back. Uh -huh. Oh, and that's right, the Polaroid. Uh -huh. went boom. Yeah. For me, when, she would hand me that Polaroid, and then she'd be working out all the numbers, and that would just sustain me. I think, okay, this is what we're going for. Mm -hmm. That's right. The Wait, Polaroid so like, like, what's a Polaroid? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what's a Polaroid? <laughs> yeah, that was so important. I forgot so, about a that. Polaroid back in the day. You don't yeah. need it now, but a Polaroid was instant. You would take the oh, picture, okay. and then all these like smelly things, and you would peel, yeah. and shake, and wait a minute, yeah. and shake, and then you would peel it, yeah. and you would have your photos. You could see your exposures. Mm -hmm. So all of my professional cameras had Polaroid maps. Uh -huh. um, how, rely how reliable was that, though? How what? How reliable was that as an exposure yeah, guide? It was. Was it? And, and then again, yeah. I did my zone system, so, mm -hmm. and I spot me here. And if she was close enough to me, she could show it to me. Yeah. And I, I, that really mattered, because yeah. then I could see if I was... Where the changes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was Polaroid. I forgot what the medicine down was. Like. Yeah, you, you, you can lay in a lot of work if you got a nice... <laughs> <laughs> but with the Polaroid camera, don't you have to be still? Because I remember when Polaroid cameras were around, that if you move, then the picture comes out blurry. It's not a Polaroid camera. Mm -hmm. It's a back. So if you go in a Hasselblad, they have a, the cameras in pieces. They have a lens, they have a box, and they have a back to it. And on the back is where your film is. And you kind of slide the door out, and then you're, you've got your film in there. If you could take that back off and put on a Polaroid back mm -hmm. that was adapted to a Hasselblad, Mm -hmm. To take a Polaroid image. Mm -hmm. a Completely yes. yeah. 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 Cool. You cool. under that thing. Ooh. But that was a big Yeah, I love when you yeah. did that. Didn't you do that with the I love when you got under that thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was like yeah. four by five. Yeah. 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 That was very cool. Yeah. yeah. But that was I don't think I don't know how you know. Well, I I wanted to add one thing that I didn't mention when I introduced you to. Yeah. Lois's photographs are the biggest seller by far since we opened our gallery. Oh, cool. you see on the walls here is for sale, and there's all of Lois's. The red dot means that it's been sold. Wow. And some of these have been sold several times in the world. Wow. And you get the reprints. Wow. That's great for you. We want to thank you very much for that. Wow. It's the most uh, artistic mess I've had in the house for a long time. <laughs>